We are heading out the door this morning. Good morning, and the kids are wearing their matching outfits with their boots today. And it's hat day at Isabella's school, so she's got a hat she's gonna wear. Yesterday was pajama day, and today is hat day. It's a boat day. Yeah, Natalie's going to summer camp this morning. So Natalie has gone to summer camp this morning and I picked her up. I just ran around and just kind of went out leisurely while she was at school and I didn't find a whole lot. I'm trying to just still find some of these like summer shirts, like summer weight tanks that can either go underneath these or um, I can wear them just when it gets hot on their own. So I found a couple at like Marshall's that I liked but I didn't end up getting them. And then I went to Charming Charlie's because I had a coupon and I'd found a couple really cute shirts there lately. And I found one that I liked but it was just like all gray and the ones at Marshall's had a print. So I kind of thought, well, I like the ones at Marshall's better so I may go back and get those at some point, not today. So I'm not gonna go all the way back over there. But anyways, I just ran around into that stuff while she was at school. And that took up the whole time. So we're gonna grab something for her for lunch real quick and then we've gotta go to Kroger to get food because I've got to get stuff filled in for like dinners and we're almost out of cereal. I have a list around here somewhere. Um, and I still, my allergies, I'm taking that 24 hour stuff, but like I've had problems with it all morning long. My eyes started getting itchy, my nose itches. So it's like, it's still, it got better, but now it seems like it's gotten worse again. I don't know, I'm just allergic. Okay, so we're gonna go get her lunch and then we're gonna go to Kroger. We are back at Kroger. We're gonna go get some groceries real quick. I think that there's a little car card over here I think I'm gonna let Natalie use. We don't normally use these, but it's sitting right here, so I'm like, well, it looks really dirty, but that's okay. Do you wanna use the car cart? Do you wanna use the car cart? The car. Can you see it? See? Do you wanna use one of those? Yeah. Can we just get a shout out for her boots? Oh yeah, she's back here eating her little snack on the way. She was hungry. They get a snack at school, but they don't feed them a full lunch. <laughs> All right, don't be a crazy driver out there. <laughs> you still driving up there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get our food set. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> so we'll do a grocery haul real quick when we get home. <laughs> they gave her a lollipop, and now she's got to wipe it off because. A little bit everywhere. That's okay though. Uh, sticky, 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 it's sticky. <laughs> Was it good though? Yeah. All right. Here you go. I have my number in my last. Oh yeah. Letter on it. Okay. We're gonna go home and do a quick grocery haul. So here's what everything looks like before I do a grocery haul, and we'll do a grocery haul real quick. And I just realized I saw on my list that I did not get go-go squeezes. And this, folks, is how I end up back at the store like every single day because I always forget that one thing that's pretty important and then we end up back at Target or wherever, but that's okay. So, and I still, I carry a list with me and I look at the list and somehow I just still managed to miss that like one thing. So <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. Okay, so here's a little grocery haul for you guys and I don't remember how much it was. <laughs> I think it was, I don't know, 50 or $60, but to be honest with you, I just, I don't know, I put my card in and I wasn't paying attention, but Here's what we got. So I got some of my black and blueberry um, drink mix. I got some aloe vera. This is Kroger brand mango drink. I um, had gotten the brand, I don't know what's from Amazon, I can't remember, an aloe drink before and I really liked it. And this is the first time I noticed Kroger having a Kroger brand so I thought I would try that. And then I got some extra sliced almonds because Everyone in my family likes to slice almonds, so we go through those pretty quickly. Some cheddar and sour cream Pringles, the girls like those, the bananas just fall over. Um, I got the Cherry Almond Blue Salad Kit, so everyone's really been liking that one. And we also got, oh, I thought I got, oh, apparently I got two of the same thing. Well, anyhow, I thought I got a summer salad and this, but apparently I grabbed two of the same thing, so there you go. And then, um, so that was a mistake, but luckily we like that salad. So then we also got some celery. And then a couple of these Carve Master yogurts. I got some egg whites. There's raspberries. There's Uncrustables. Peanut butter and strawberry. Always a classic. And then um, green pepper. We like just cut these in slices, eat them raw. Same thing with the cucumbers. Eat them raw. And then Chewy Chips Ahoy. There are blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. We're happy to have all this stuff coming back in season. 
There are some fudgesicles for the girls. It's finally kind of warming up here in Michigan. It's supposed to be like 80 and 90 over the next week, which is the I think the hottest it's been so far this season. So I got some fudgesicles for those hot days. We can go out on the deck and eat those. I got some toaster scrambles. I'm going to do like a breakfast dinner one night and I wanted to incorporate these in there somehow. I'll probably make like waffles, Olaf waffles, or I don't know what all yet, but I thought I would just grab those because they seem like something the girls would eat. And then I got the toasted flakes with fruit and yogurt. Isabella really likes that one. I got lucky charms, not something I normally get, but it's the end of the school year, so this is like a Lucky Charms tree and they had the family size. The family size was actually cheaper than the smaller box So it seemed like a good deal. I'm sorry my allergies. I need to sneeze right now and uh, I'm trying not to so my allergies are still all messed up and then milk for the girls and then barefoot bubbly for myself Not for the girls obviously. So this was our little grocery haul for the day We ran and picked up and uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away in the fridge right there and then see what I need to get done around the house real quick. So I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes and take a rest and then I'm gonna try to get some stuff done around the house. We're gonna go pick up Isabella at school in a little bit and do dinner and all of that. So um, I'm gonna have some chatty videos coming up to talk with you guys about just kind of things coming up on the horizon and where I'm at and kind of what I see for maybe my channels and that sort of things. Uh, we have made some positive, I think that they're positive, changes recently. And I was just kind of sitting here thinking, you know, like, and I, I do this, I think, when I watch other people's videos too. It's really hard to, I think, sometimes remember that like, you know, 24 hours in a day is a really long time. And generally, you know, these videos are between five and 10 minutes, unless they're a Disney video, then they're like 20. But, um, you know, you really only get a snapshot and just like this brief sense of people. I mean, you, unless it's like the Truman Show where you're just watching a live feed all day long, you know, you're not seeing the whole of it and everything. So, um, I've really been trying to think lately about like, is there any way that I can like change my filming style, my editing style to kind of be more all encompassing? And we have decided to make some what we think is positive decisions and I was thinking about it and I was thinking you know because of just either assumptions that people have made from what they've watched and I'm using assumptions just as a general word here not a negative thing um, or because of the way that I've edited things or because I've only tended to show certain things and I haven't shown you know the whole rest of the day besides that 10 minutes or my thoughts on other things um, I really think that some of these decisions that we've made may catch some people off guard. Um, so I'm going to be interested to see uh, people's reactions because I think that it's it may be a bit of a surprise. So anyhow, um, you know, I mean, I always try to be, I feel like, more like all-encompassing and be like, make videos that would appeal to a wide variety of people. I mean, obviously, if you're not into Disney, you're not going to enjoy those types of videos and that sort of thing. But I try not to be like excluding of people. And I try to get into this on Bakes for Bubbles. And I just can't spit this out. I can't figure out how to say it. But, um, you know, I, I made the decision really early on. You know, I wanted my channel to be memory keeping and have those memories of the girls, which is amazing. I'm so glad I did that. I, you know, have first Disney trips and I could look back and see these character meals that we did and first days at school, dance recitals, all these things on YouTube that I can look back on and I'm so very glad that I, I have them um, because that's amazing to be able to go back and watch them. I love going back and watching the videos when the girls are little and at Disney. It's one of my favorite things to do. And the other thing that I set out to do was to connect with other moms. You know, I was a stay-at-home mom. I had two little ones at home, and they, it was their nap schedules and all that sort of thing. And naps were great because I got all my YouTube done, all my YouTube stuff done during naps. But also, you're kind of tied down during that nap schedule. And I was in mom groups and things like that. But I wanted to connect with other moms, and I feel like I succeeded in that because, like. Obviously, it's grown to where I talked to a number of you in the comments, on Facebook. There's literally people that have been watching me for years, and we send Christmas cards to each other. And so I really feel like, you know, I met that as well. 
And so one of the things that I decided when I started my channels, and this is kind of just how I am in my regular life as well. It's like the whole everything in moderation thing, right? Um, I'm really like, I think like moderate as far as my personality goes is like, I'm easy going with like opinionated things. Like I don't want my channel to be like a platform for things related to like uh, politics, religion, finances, anything that I feel like can get divisive because, um, well, I'm just not like that in real life either. Like, you know, we can have differences, opinions on those sorts of things, and it's not going to ruin whether or not we can have a relationship or whether we can be friends. Like, you know, it's okay for me to have an opinion, and my opinion can be different from yours. I'm not one of those people that tries to sway people to, like, have the same opinion as me. I think the differences are what makes the world go around, right? So, um... Where was I going with all this? My battery died and then Natalie was whistling and I don't even remember why <laughs> I went into this. Oh, but anyhow, um, so we have some changes coming up and I think that because I will just have to like kind of tiptoe into some of those like things that I don't normally talk about, I'm probably gonna, and I'm not like gonna get like into a lot of it, but I'm just saying like, because of assumptions that people have made because they've been watching short videos, I think that it's probably going to catch a couple of people off guard. So anyhow, that is that. I can't remember what I was talking about because my battery died and then Natalie came trucking through. So we'll see if any of this makes sense. But I'm going to have some chatty videos coming up that I hopefully can gather my thoughts and sit down and have a good discussion about it, about where we're at, what I kind of see for the future, and um, you know what it's looking like going forwards. So that is that. So I'm going to hang out for a few minutes and then I'm going to go play with her for a few minutes and it'll be time to go get her sister. So I'm up and going. I'm going to try to find a small scale cleaning process project to do. I mean, I honestly, I don't really need to vacuum or anything. I mean, the floors are looking pretty good. I just cleared out these flowers. I, um, we're down to like the three newer ones, but they're lasting a long time. So I enjoy those. I might get like another bunch of them at TJ. I keep saying TJ Maxx. I mean, Trader Joe's at the end of the week, but, um, nothing really needs to get vacuumed. I just need to straighten up this couch in here a little bit. And get these pillows put back over here and then I guess close that cabinet door and then um, I'm gonna go see if the dishwasher needs to get run real quick and then I'll go see what Natalie is doing that needs to get straightened up this door needs to get closed you can see it's just kind of like an overcast day out there it's just a little cloudy Straighten this blanket up. I'm gonna take these shirts of Bella's upstairs. She did pull them out of her backpack. Oh, I'm gonna do a video on these responsibility cards. Maybe I'll film that video and that can be yesterday's video because I just didn't feel like <laughs> filming yesterday. So maybe I'll talk a little bit more in depth about those. Let's go see what Natalie is doing. You playing with your Legos? They've been super into Legos lately. Look what I need. I like it. What is it? Like a little gazebo? No, it's a Lego Friends Garden. A Lego Friends Garden? I like it. It's very it's pretty. It's a Lego Friends Garden because Lego Friends can go in it. Super cool. It's the Lego Friends Garden. Yeah, they've been really content with their Legos and look lately. What they grown. I like it. I like their flowers. They're very pretty. Yeah. Let me see here. And this is a rose. Oh, yeah? What are these two flowers? Daisies, maybe? Yep. <laughs> no, they're dandelion. Yeah. The kind you're allergic to. Oh, yeah, I am kind of allergic to those. So um, they just have a couple of the smaller sets. Like they got one for Easter, and, and this is the rose I brought you home. Got one for Bella's home. birthday. This is a rose. This is the type of rose I brought you home. Oh, thank you. You did bring me a rose. That was very nice of you. Was it this kind of? Was made, it pink? Yeah, it was. It was pink, just like that one. Yeah, just like that one. We may have to get some larger sets because they've both been super into Legos and you're doing really good. Like they can follow the instructions and build stuff. And like she was just sitting in here like using the using the sets. What was this that you built over here, Natalie? Looks pretty cool. This? No, this one right here. What's this? Uh, Is this her photo lab? No, that's her phone. Oh, her phone? That's her phone because that's her house. Oh, uh, okay. And Is this, this her house? No, that's Mine's dog's house.
Oh, Maya's doggy's house? And this is her house. Aha. Uh -huh. And look what this is. What's that one? Oh, his car? No. It's a doggy walker. A doggy walker. Kind of cute, right? <laughs> so the great thing about this is that, you know, they can use their imaginations and they're small and they don't take up much space. So that's been kind of nice. So I'm going to put this back in the laundry room real quick. Getting Natalie a quick snack before we're going to go get Isabella. We got these raspberries earlier. I want to go to Costco probably tomorrow and see if we can get some more raspberries because we like eating these like I'm a bowl. I'm going to do a quick little sweep back of this kitchen floor in here just because she's getting done with her snack and I'm going to do one of the fridge and this pantry area and everything. And I saw at Home Goods, I've been eyeing them for weeks, and I finally decided because I've seen them displayed. So they have, like, instead of like, you know, like these berry things that you wash them off, and they have the holes in them, like it looks the most like these. So these containers, whatever that is called, container, I don't know what it'd be called. They have, um, like, I have my egg one up here. This is from Home Goods a number of years ago. And they have a similar thing to this this year, too, actually. It's just like a ceramic egg holder. And I really like, like, transferring my eggs over into this. Well, this year, I haven't seen it in previous years, but it doesn't mean that they haven't had it. This year, they have, like, these containers, these berry containers, and all kinds of different colors, a lot of teals, some beiges. They even had this cute one that said berries on the side of it. I really wish I would have got that because I saw that one day when I was at of home goods and I was like oh do I need it no and then now I'm kind of wishing but I think I'm gonna go get two of those so I can store them here in the front of my um, my Walt Berry holder right now because it's mainly got berries in there and it just will help keep all of this contained and I like the idea of having one that won't just have water sitting in it all right my refrigerator thinks I should stop talking so does Natalie what's up Natalie Yogurt. You are a bottomless pit, you know that? She just had berries and some drinks. You want some yogurt? Yeah. Alright, yogurt, and then we gotta go get some. We have to go get Belle at school, but I'm watching Marine's video from Glitter and Groceries. I feel bad for them. Alright, I gotta go. But go check out Marine's channel from Glitter and Groceries. We met them down in Orlando and they're the sweetest Hi, people. I should... Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go get Isabella. At okay, so we are at school. I probably have to delete that clip, but um, before we left, I was watching Maureen's video. I got to watch the end of it when we get home, but go check out Maureen from Glitter and Groceries channel. We met her and David down in Orlando. They are the sweetest couple ever. Um, and they're going through a rough times. So go show them some support. Go check out their video. And I just, I hate it for them. I really, really do. Um, it's just tough. We're going to pick up Isabella at school and then go get, um, dinner. Little Isabella's home and raiding the fridge. <laughs> yeah. I'm finding my ginger ale. Yeah, she's finding her ginger ale that she opened. And the girls were wearing the same dress today, actually. I opened it on my own. Yeah, yeah she opened it on her own. All right. We're getting ready to go. They've had a bunch of underwear on clearance. I think we're going to get some of these. These are only $3.98 if I can find their sizes. It looks like a bunch of size 10s. That's a good price. I guess we'll do a Target haul when we get home too. <laughs> it's basically just cleaning supplies and Kleenex and watermelon. We are water. back and I'm going to make dinner real quick and we'll show you real quick what we got at Target too. And that's going to be the end of our evening. It's gone really quick. What we're going to have for dinner is this cherry almond salad, which we have two of conveniently. And then I'm going to add some of these extra almonds on there because everyone likes I actually almonds. put the feta cheese on there instead of the blue cheese that came with it because I like the feta cheese a little bit more. All, all of a sudden it's going down, going down, going down. All of a sudden it's going down. Also pray. We're going to do a super duper quick Target haul here because I need to go get the kids in the bathtub. But I got two more of these watermelon sparkling water to have on hand because they seem like they've been selling out really quickly at Target. I got the kids some of this apple cinnamon. It's like go-go squeeze their applesauce pouches. Um, French vanilla coffee from Folgers. And I want to order some more of the Joffrey's coffee. So I just got this as like kind of intermediary. And then I want to order some of that Joffrey's coffee because it was really good. Some more of those Gilgan O'Malley sleep shorts. They're just like really soft and comfortable. I got gray. So now I have them in the navy, the black, and the gray. Two Kleenex because we have been needing Kleenex. I thought the boxes on these were really pretty too. 
um, two disinfecting wipes for cleaning around the house. And then we had light bulbs in one of the bathroom chandeliers go out. So I got some more bu bulbs for that because I wasn't able to find any around the house. And then I found this cute little watermelon writing notepad in a dollar spot. So I got that for summer notes. I picked up some of this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I've used this in the past. And I think I'm getting to a point where I need to throw away a couple of my mascaras. So I got that. I have to change up my mascara fairly often because um, I usually have two or three that I'm using at a time. So I've been using that Laura Geller one a lot too. But um, I have to, you know, like alternate between them. And like after like two or three months, they have to get thrown away because my eyes are so sensitive. And then they had the underwear and clearance. We did end up getting some of those. These were only $3. So I thought that that was a pretty good deal because there are nine pairs of underwear in there for three bucks. Well, three ninety eight. And then this one was on sale for $5. And it has flamingos, which were cute. So Natalie wears a six and Bella wears an eight. It's not the same clothing size they're in, but I figure um, my philosophy with this underwear, with underwear is a little bit bigger, like, because, you know, no one wants to wear super tight underwear. At least I don't these days. So anyways, that is that. So that's our Target haul, and I'm going to go get the kids. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the whole video. So that is it for today. It's like kind of a haul palooza type of day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed following along. I will try to do, hopefully maybe I filmed it and then it will be like yesterday. So check out the video either before or after this on the kids responsibility boards. I'll talk a little bit more about that and how we incentivize it and just our system, which knock on wood is fairly working. I mean, they don't always do the things, like if they're having a bad day, but I'm saying like the incentives seem to be working. And then, um, I'll talk about that and we'll have some vlogs coming up later in the week. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching today. I think I was probably a little bit rambly, so it's probably a little bit long. So thank you if you made it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a video very soon.